Welcome to Think and Thin with Travis and Mike, a lively look at the athletic life from two guys who know firsthand what it's all about. And now, the lineman with the patented end zone dance moves and the punter pontificator extraordinaire. Let's welcome Travis Jackson and Mike Sadler. Well, welcome. I, I was not expecting that intro. Yeah, I thought, I, thought, I thought we agreed on Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast. Not uh, thinking thin. Whatever, we're here. We're here. So, Very unfortunately, cool. we are not Mark Hollis, nor will we try to be, but hopefully this will be somewhat entertaining for everybody involved. Uh, as far as we know, this is the first radio show ever to be hosted by one and a half football players. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, Mike, uh, you know you say you're a football player, you're a punter. But uh, I think I checked with the Guinness Book of World Records, and uh, y you qualify as half a football player. And, uh, you know, first radio show with one and a half football players. We're excited about this. First episode of Thick and Thin out of the way. How did uh, you guys feel that it went? I don't think I took a breath in the first 20 minutes. <laughs> Travis a little red. It, I think we uh, hit our stride about halfway through. It, it was a real fun experience and something that I'm glad we got to do. Yes, the unlimited food, the ruling the NCAA uh, did. It's just got me pumped up. It starts August 1st. I'm marking it down on my calendar. I'm so excited. I say yes, yes, yes to this. Obviously, just by looking at you guys, we could figure out the name of the show. But where did it come from, and were there any other options that were mauling through your guys' heads? You know, uh, Mike kind of just went with Thick and Thin, and, uh, and we really liked it. I, I wanted Beauty and the Beast. Um, uh, I mean, we, we didn't put too much thought in it. I just looked at him. He's thicker than I am. I'm thinner than he is, so Thick and Thin. Um, I do want to clear up the Beauty and the Beast thing. We couldn't decide which one was the Beauty and which one was the Beast, so we did have to go with Thick and Thin. I'm thin, Travis is thick. So where did the uh, idea hatch from for the show? You guys aren't communications majors or anything, or journalism at all, so wh where did this come from? Just a newfound passion or something? We actually did a um, show with President Simon and Scott Westerman, and uh, as I'm sitting there uh, across the table from Mike, I'm thinking, you know, this guy's awesome, hilarious, and I was like, this would be perfect if we did our own show, and it'd be really cool because it's not really been done anywhere. Uh, athletes being able to speak to the fans and host a show and interview other athletes, so I, get, I went to Mike with it, and, he, and we both just got it done, so. Probably as room with me, right? <laughs> Keith is my roommate for uh, all the, uh, the home and away games, my, my true freshman year. Uh, probably a bit of an odd pairing. I don't really know how they, they came up with us, but I'm sure that you know, if you can't think of anything, that, that would be a nice That's certainly top <laughs> five, I think. That okay, definitely hits top five. I could five. do top five. What would your ideal show be like? Would it just be a talk show? Would it, and what genre would it be? Would it be sports, pop culture? What, what, do you, what do you guys feel that it would be? I think it would be a, a talk show that can touch on a little bit of everything. Obviously, we have a bit of a unique perspective being student athletes that are still kind of up to date with everything that's going on even though I don't know what a, a Meek Mill is. But uh, still, uh, uh, we could talk about anything. Obviously, be MSU and football-related uh, mostly, but anything that's interesting that people would like to hear, we could talk about. Yeah, we'd, we'd probably have a lot of fun with it. We are told to be a little vanilla with our pilot show, so uh, we'd definitely branch out a little bit if we got uh, a little bit of a looser leash and uh, probably do a little bit of everything. It would, be, it would be fun. So we're getting close to the end of spring ball here, which only can mean one thing. Warm weather? No, the spring game, oh, Mike. The, the, the spring, spring, game. spring game. Come spring on, game. we yeah, practiced this last game. night. <laughs> um, so Some the spring game's coming up, and you know, uh, a big emphasis uh, around the Big Ten on spring games has kind of been the attendance. Uh, and Coach D has called for 50,000 plus fans, which uh, knowing our fans, I know they can get it done. But uh, I mean, sure. we even have some of the numbers here. This is usually not announced. We have Ohio State who had 61,000. Pretty good. Um, pretty good. Penn State had 72,000. Really good. And then University of Michigan had 15,000. <laughs> must have been not so good. Must have been bad weather. Must have been rainy. If you guys could interview people or have guests on your show, three guests on your show, that would be great uh, from anywhere. Who would they be, you think? That's a tough yeah, one. A really from anywhere, question. from anywhere. Who would you like to talk to? Um, is, this a, is this a fourth and, what was it, yeah, fourth yeah, down yeah, and yeah, punts yeah, or yeah, whatever you call yeah, it? I'm going to have to punt this one away for sure. Uh, who'd be interesting? Oh, geez, that's so tough. I mean, I'd love to get an interview with Daniel Bryan just because I'm a big fan of his. So doing that, I'm sure you'd like the editor of the 17 magazine, uh, hottest football player right now. Yeah, I, I don't know if she's old enough. To, uh, her parents <laughs> might have to sign off her to be on the, you know, interviewed. But uh, 
Oh, that, that'd be fun. Uh, uh, really, any, anybody that's, that's been through here that can relate to our experiences would be fun. Yeah, I guess anyone willing to be on our show yeah. <laughs> would probably yeah, be the we best. We probably answer. can't get three, let's be real. Yeah. <laughs> let's be real, but anybody, anybody. Well, Travis and Mike, you guys did a fantastic job today. How did it feel to be behind the microphone running your own show? You know, it, it was really fun. It was. A, I'm really glad that we got to do this experience, have this experience. Uh, I'm glad that we didn't get pulled off stage. And for as far as I know, there wasn't any tape delay, so they, they had to trust us a little bit. So, fun experience. And we did get the idea, Travis, that you are you enjoy the food at Michigan State University. Yeah, you know, um, I we want to say thank you to a couple people, uh, John Lewandowski, Will Teeman, Mark Hollis, and of course you, Scott. And I want to say thank you to the NCA for more food. <laughs> food is good. Food is good. <laughs>